Hey Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put heat transfer vinyl onto a stuffed animal. Back, I made a video talking about how much money I made in my third month in business with my Cricket machine. That video blew up. It has over 200,000 views right now and I have gotten an overwhelming amount of comments asking me how do you personalize your stuffed animals. I'm going to talk about so much in this video. You don't want to miss out. It's all very important information. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I do ask that you watch the video till the end though because most of the comments I receive are questions that I have already answered throughout the video. I try my best to be very thorough and concise. I don't want to waste my time, nor do I want to waste your time. So everything in this video is what I think is most important. So we can do some quick math here. I bought them for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I spent $30 on all these unicorns. And then I flipped them for 36, 9, 12, 15, 80. 180 dollars for this first batch of unicorns. So many people don't know that you can do this and it's so easy. So today I'm going to show you guys how to personalize two stuffed animals. I chose these for a specific reason. One has long shaggier fur and one has short not shaggier fur. You'll need a couple things to start, like a machine. You can use any Cricut machine, whether it be the Joy, the Maker, or the Explore series. The biggest difference with the Joy versus the Maker is that your cutting area is a lot smaller. I'm gonna show you what I mean. These are the kind of mats that you can use. So this is the mat that goes with the Joy. You can see that your cutting area is way smaller. This is only four and a half inches wide. These are the mats that are used with the Cricut Explore series or the Cricut Maker series. Your cutting area is a lot bigger. These are 12 inch mats. If what you're trying to cut out is small and will fit on this mat, then you can cut it with your Cricut Joy. If the design you're making is bigger, you'll need a Cricut Explore or Cricut Maker. There's a couple different Cricut Explore machines. There's an Explore, Explore Air 2, and Explore Air 3. I own the Cricut Explore Air 2, the Cricut Maker, and the Cricut Joy. The Maker is my favorite. I'd love to get the Maker 3, but I don't have that one yet. I've bought all my machines myself. Nothing has been given to me for free by any companies. All these thoughts and opinions are my own. But hey Cricut, if you want to send me a Maker 3, I would love it. So I'm going to talk about these mats because I'm cutting on a Cricut Maker. What's the difference, right? One's a strong grip mat, one's a standard grip mat. Strong grip mats are better for holding thicker materials. Glitter vinyl or flocked vinyl. You probably have no idea what flocked vinyl is. Very few people do know what this is. Um, I would describe it as a material kind of in between like a fleece and a felt. A little more felt-like. Um, it's soft, it's fuzzy, and it's great to put on stuffed animals. I also love using this flocked vinyl on my Easter baskets and sometimes my Easter bunnies. I have videos of those that I've already made and Easter is right around the corner. So if you want to see those videos on how to make Easter baskets and bunnies, I'll leave a card right now. You can click there. Otherwise, keep watching this video till the end so you can learn how to do this fun project. So I talked about flocked vinyl. We also use glitter vinyl, which I would put on these strong grip mats. Another material that you can use is your standard sizer easy weed heat transfer vinyl. This is the kind of material that you'll put on shirts, pillows, things like that. I would not recommend using this kind of vinyl on a stuffed animal like this. This one has really long fur, it's more shaggy, and it's going to look like wrinkled and not very good if you put it on this kind of stuffed animal. But I often use sizer easy weed heat transfer vinyl on my elephants. That's the material that I have on these ears. So this is one of my birth announcement elephants. I made it with Sizer Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl. The fur is really, really smooth. It's not shaggy. So heat transfer vinyl that's just for t-shirts works fine on this. Now this one is really furry. The fur is a lot longer and I use glitter on this. You can see it's thicker. It's not going to wrinkle. And I don't care how much you try to pull this, like it's really not coming off. Same with this one. There is no way to get this vinyl off unless you use vinyl remover, which is something I always recommend to keep in your office. Like you can try to pick this off all you want. It is not coming off. I learned the hard way that you can't take this vinyl off and I made mistakes in the past. You have to use VLR remover. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy that. It's a great thing to have on hand. 
If you're making t-shirts and you mess up or any kind of heat transfer vinyl you mess up, you can get it off with VLR. So let's start with my dinosaur right here. My friend's son was over here a few days ago. He saw this dinosaur and he loved it. He really wanted to take it home, but I was planning on using it for this video. So I'm gonna put his name on it. His name is Jack, and then we're gonna surprise him with it the next time he comes over. I have some white flocked vinyl, which I'm gonna put on here because I think it would look best for this project. Now, before I move over to Cricut Design Space, I have to measure this stuffed animal to see how big I want to make his name. I've got my little dinosaur and I got my ruler. I want to put his name going down. I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to end right about here because I don't want his name on any of the seams. So I'm going to make his name be five inches long by an inch and a half wide. So we're going to move this party over to Cricut Design Space so I can design his name and then send it to the Cricut machine to cut. In case you're wondering where these stuffed animals are from, this little guy is from Five Below, and so is the llama I showed you earlier. So both of these are from Five Below. My favorite little elephant right here is from Amazon. I will leave a link to all the materials you'll need in my description below. So make sure you go down there if you're looking for anything in this project. And this pretty unicorn is from Walmart. It was only 10 bucks. So once you're in design space, you wanna start typing out a name. You go to text, and you can type out J-A-C-K. Now I want this to be centered so we can go to alignment and center it. You can choose whatever font you want. I'm not super crazy about this one. I wanted to try to find a more fun one. So I'm going to my go-to place for fonts, which is Creative Fabrica. Their fonts are amazing and I love them all. And this one is gorgeous. So I wanted to find a more playful one for a kid. Jack is four years old, and I bet that he would love this one because it has dinosaurs in it, and we're putting it on a dinosaur. How awesome is that? So we're gonna click download. I pay for their all access subscription, so I don't have to enter in any payment info. I just click download, double click here, double click again, and open. So there's two fonts here and I just want to make sure they look the same. So I'm going to open up both of them. Okay, so this is the one that I want to download. So I'm going to click install. After you click install, you can go back to design space and refresh your screen and that's how you get your font in there. Now we want to go to view, reload. Now we can click on Jack, go to our font, type in. Let's see how this looks. We can make our line space less, closer together by clicking this a whole bunch of times. We can also readjust this. We know we wanted it to be five inches, so just click five and enter. So now it's exactly how big it needs to be. We can zoom in if we want to get a better look. So I think this is super cute. It's already within the width that we need, so we can go ahead and cut. So we're going to click Make It. We're cutting on a 12 by 12 inch mat, so that's what we're going to select. If you have a different size mat, you can select it here. Then we click Continue. Next, we need to select the material we're going to use. I said I wanted to try doing this project with flocked vinyl. I've never used this particular font before, so I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but I'm excited to try. So we're going to go to Browse All Materials and search for flocked. And there's a paper and iron on. You want to select iron on and then done. says to make sure you put it shiny side down. And we also have to make sure we mirror it, which I had forgotten to do. So we click edit right here. And we need to make sure we turn the mirror on. Whenever you're using a heat transfer vinyl, you need to mirror it. So the next thing that I need to do is cut out my vinyl so I can stick it on my mat. It has to be one inches wide by five inches long. 
I was going to use my Cricut cutter because that's what I prefer. I like how this one has the swing away arm, but I noticed that my little blade is missing, the part you actually need to cut it. I just moved and it was chaotic and a lot of stuff got thrown into boxes and this little cutter piece seems to pop off all the time with this. So today I'm gonna to be using my Carl cutter. Uh, this is the same concept. It doesn't have the swing out arm that I love. At least I don't think it does. Pretty sure it doesn't. So take your piece of vinyl and slide it over to the one inch mark. This is what's going to go on my mat. This is what his name is going to be cut out of. It's the right size. I'm going to be cutting this out on a strong grip mat so we can take off our protective carrier sheet. Place this shiny side down in the upper left hand corner of your mat. So, shiny side down, upper left hand corner. This is what it should look like before you load it into your machine. Make sure that your machine is turned on by pushing the power button. So we take our weeded vinyl and we place it on the stuffed animal right where we want it. The next thing that we need to do is take a piece of Teflon sheet, put it over this and heat transfer it on. There's a couple different ways that you can heat transfer this vinyl onto your stuffed animal. I would recommend either an iron, an easy press or an easy press mini. I don't have an easy press, but I have the easy press mini and just a standard old clothes iron. I actually prefer my clothes iron. I never use a heat press on this because it's just so thick that it doesn't fit well in a heat press. This is the kind of iron that I'm referring to when I talk about a clothes iron. Um, there's nothing special about this. I got it for my wedding about 10 years ago. I never ironed my clothes, so it gets very little use. I always put it on blend setting, and then you wait till it stops blinking and it makes a beepy noise, so then I know it's ready. You can also use one of these little Cricut Easy Press Minis. They're only 50 bucks. But you can see that it's like so much smaller than my iron. So I have to make multiple presses using this versus just one press with this. So that's why I prefer this over the Easy Press Mini. So it just beeped, it says it's ready. That only took like 30 seconds, it's super quick. I want you to take your vinyl, put it on your stuffed animal exactly where you want it. Then you take a piece of Teflon sheet, you can buy these on Amazon, and cover your design with it. Put it flat down. Now you want to heat press it for about 30 seconds. I just count in my head. Also, if you're using an iron like this, make sure there's no water in it and you're not using any steam. Now we can go ahead and peel off our carrier sheet. I just went to peel it and it's peeling off with the stuffed animal, so I think we need to let this one cool down. Some kind of vinyls are hot peel and some are cold peel. Um, if you go to peel it and it's coming up, it probably needs to cool first. I'm also going to heat it for a few more seconds because I just peeled it up. Let it cool for a minute and then we'll try to peel it again. If you wanted to do this with the mini, this is off right now so it's not hot, you would have to do it in a couple different pieces because the surface area on this mini is just so small. You could maybe do it in two or three. But I went ahead and let this cool and it looks like it's coming off now without coming up. Now we have little Dino Jack. Look how awesome this looks, guys. That's so cute. I love this font. Now this is the flocked vinyl, so it's really soft, just like the stuffed animal. You can also try to pick this off all you want. It's not going anywhere. This is on there for good. The only way that you're gonna get this off is using VLR vinyl remover. Now let's move on to the next stuffed animal, the really shaggy ones. It's the same exact process. You're just gonna to wanna to use um, a flocked vinyl or glitter vinyl and not the t-shirt material kind of vinyl. You could use a t-shirt material one on this, the Sizer Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl, but I really liked flocked vinyl for stuffed animals. 
I have my cute little five below llama here. I'm gonna make this for Jack's sister, Madison, because we do not need any more stuffed animals in my house. So just like before, we're gonna grab our ruler, measure our stuffed animal so we know how big to make the name. So we're gonna go straight across with Madison, and just like before, it's gonna be about five inches, and you can make it however big you want. I'd do probably about an inch and a half. We're gonna go to Cricut Design Space, type in Madison, and do the same exact process before. So go to text, I'm gonna type in Madison, and I wanna do a pretty girly font. I bet Madison would love this one. So we need to shrink it down to around five inches, and it's already at one and a half. Sometimes these look good if you make them bold, but this font doesn't have the option. So that is all we have to do. Now we can go to make it. You want to make sure you mirror image it. Click continue. For Madison's Llama, I'm going to be using glitter iron-on vinyl, so we can go to browse all materials, and you can type in glitter. So I want glitter iron on. Done. I went ahead and cut out my glitter vinyl to save some time, but just like before, we're going to put it on our mat in the upper left hand corner, except this time it's going across instead of down. Also make sure that you put this shiny side down and that you mirror imaged it in design space. Slide it into your machine, push the double blinking arrows, and then the Cricut cut button. Glitter vinyl is one of the more harder types of vinyl to weed. So just like before, I'm going to use my iron and heat transfer this on. Cover it with your Teflon sheet and heat press for about 30 seconds. One thing that will make this easier is if you cut out as much of the excess carrier sheet as possible before heat pressing it on. Especially with these shaggy kind of stuffed animals. Normally I would be using my uh, nice Cricut scissors, but my kids have stolen them and lost them. Mm -hmm. So just like that, cut as much of the carrier sheet off as you can, then stick it on your stuffed animal. Cover it with your Teflon sheet, put your iron on, and heat for about 30 seconds. I also always make sure that I peel this off in the direction that the fur is going. You can see it came off super easy. I hope that you guys learned some new things in this video. Making personalized stuffed animals is one of my favorite projects to do. It's really easy. The projects come out cute and kids love them. They're also a great seller if you have a Cricut business. Stuffed animals sell great at Valentine's Day or Easter. You can always do Easter bunnies with names on them. I love putting them on the ears. Like I mentioned before, I have a great video on making those. Just click the card above if you want to watch that video next. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below. All of your engagement really helps my small business grow.